No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. I have my own social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands called Brampaneer that's currently doing six figures and I have my own coaching business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first clients, how to automate it, scale it so that you too can live life on your own terms. And this is a video about a not necessarily a question, but just something that always comes up, um, which is obviously regarding the laptop lifestyle, being a digital nomad, etc. And when I first started out um, on my personal brand, so on my Instagram, on my YouTube, it was all about freedom and living life on your own terms. And that is something that I still do stand by very much. I do think that you need to be able to do what you want, to be able to um, live a life of meaning, you know, full or filled with passion and just feel a sense of freedom, you know, whether that is financial freedom, meaning having enough money to do what you want, um, as well as location freedom, you know, being able to travel the world as much as you want. And of course, freedom of time, you know, basically having all the freedom to do uh, what you want and spend it on things that you actually enjoy doing rather than being stuck in the rat race, stuck in the nine to five, stuck in traffic you know uh, working away from these little cubicles um working on basically someone else's dream because you're working for a boss so someone else has a vision has an idea for his company and you're basically helping him uh, helping him fulfill that vision or achieve that goal what he's got rather than working on something that you actually enjoy doing now quick disclaimer and there are a lot of people that are actually in the nine to five and perfectly happy with it and i'm not bashing the nine to five in any way shape or form but i basically found out from quite an early age that the nine to five was just not for me and there's nothing wrong with you know either part of the spectrum you know if you enjoy having the freedom to basically shut off at 5 p.m drive home and just spend you know the rest of your evening uh, either with friends watching you know tv netflix or whatever you want that is completely fine just that is in my opinion it's just not for me and i would rather spend more time longer hours on something that is truly mine you know my own personal projects knowing that i'm pushing the needle forward with my own goals etc um and you know i'm more than happy to give up um basically the the freedom of not having to do anything uh, of a weekend for example and obviously you know over time there will be a point where um, I can take much more time off you know we've all seen the the graph where um, if you are working at a nine to five you know you basically got a stable income like that every single uh, month week year etc and then the entrepreneur um, graph basically starts here so if this is the, the the average income it starts here and then for a very long time people that are uh, having a stable income uh, in a much much more and then you've just got that j curve right where you just like basically everything just basically falls into place and explodes and that is just something that i look forward to um by no means have i hit that j curve just yet at least i hope not i hope there's much more to come than this but um you know i'm still basically in that grind mode and when i started out um so 2016 was basically my discovery year, if you will. I discovered social media marketing. I looked into it. I invested into it. I invested into courses, coaching, you name it. Um, and then 2017 was when I started uh, building things up. Um, I did get a bit into the website mentality, which uh, what I mean by that is basically, you know, I started building my website, creating business cards, etc. I basically tried to do as much as possible without actually doing what I should be doing, which was reaching out to potential businesses. And the reason for that was because there was a bit of fear involved. You know, it is difficult to um, reach out to businesses when you're just starting out because you're not really that confident just yet. Then 2018 is when I got my big break, when we finally hit six figures. Um, I worked together with uh, my former business partner, Bradley Riley, and from that moment onwards i started living the the laptop lifestyle if you will and if you guys go back to video from back to 2018 or um I was going to say scroll back on my Instagram stories, but you can't actually do that. But you can still scroll back on my Instagram feed. In 2018, I spent uh, my time in a different country every single month. You know, I spent a few months uh, spread out over the year in the UK. Um, I went to Rome. I went to Paris, um, you know, amongst a few other places. I don't even know anymore where I went. Literally every single month uh, was jam-packed with activities and travels, etc. Why? Because 
in a way, I just needed to get that out of my system as well, you know. Um, I was always led to believe that, for example, traveling to Rome and to Italy and stuff like that was expensive. You know, people always told me, you know, don't go to Rome, it's touristy and it's expensive. And I always wanted to go to Rome. Uh, for those of you that have been following my channel for a while know that, you know, I, used, I, I always mention it, you know. People always told me Rome was too expensive and then when I was finally able to go, I realized that Rome is just an amazing city and it's it's it could be as expensive as you want it to be really. Same goes for Paris, you know, if you want to... Um, if you want to like basically live within a budget and you're living in Paris and that is, you know, it's possible. It's definitely possible. It just basically depends on, um, you know, systems that you put in place and also how lavish you want to live. You know, if you want to be, um, you know, on the high streets of Paris, you're spending all kinds on clothes, etc. Then yes, you know, it can be quite an expensive trip. But anyway, like I said, I needed to get that out of my system because I just really wanted to travel. You know, I remember when I was in university and I used to watch those high on life videos, you know, like the videos where they just show drone footage of places um, where they, like, they basically fly the drone over Greece, where you've got all those white and blue houses, etc. And then they jump off cliffs and stuff like that, and then they go underwater with the GoPros. I used to love watching videos like that, and I used to always think, you know, I'm stuck in my room here now, and basically you know these these guys are just basically with a couple of friends literally just living the ultimate life of life of freedom and travel and they're having fun along the way and the you know the goofing about etc and that is what i always wanted so as soon as i did actually you know have disposable income um and i had an agency that was um basically run from my laptop literally all i needed was wi-fi and a laptop um i just needed to get that out of my system and i spent you know the majority of 2018 abroad then 2019 um i spent january in bali with the guys from Choose Pristine. And then in February, I was in Istanbul. And I think around March, April is when I basically just started to, um, you know, I sort of got it out of my system and that's when I started to work on my own little projects and I needed time to basically do that. You know, I basically started to focus a bit more and spend more time uh, behind my desk, you know, at my office. Why? Because um, at the time I also, put down my first investment into real estate. I put down a deposit. Um, so again, I immediately started sort of like researching everything, all the ins and outs of real estate, etc. And then from there, like I said, I started putting systems in place for the agency, focused more on the personal brand, um, and you know, just start structuring everything a little bit more. Then in 2019, which was last year, obviously I had that big road trip where I traveled all across the US. We literally went from, um, we took a flight to New York because we wanted to spend a few days in New York as well. Um, I've already been to New York as a kid with my parents and then, uh, but the lads that I was with, my mates, uh, they have not, hadn't been to New York just yet. So they wanted to see New York. I wanted to go again as well as an adult, you know, rather than a kid. So we went to New York. Then from there, we got a flight to LA. From LA, we uh, hired a, a big, massive Chevrolet Suburban. And then we drove to San Diego and through San, uh, from San Diego, we made our way to the Grand Canyon, spent a few days there, you know, uh, for those of you that have been to the Grand Canyon, you guys will know that there's like a, uh, there's, you've got the West Rim, the East Rim, the North Rim, etc. So we started off, I think at the South Rim, then we made our way to the um, East Rim, Vegas, West Rim, uh, Death Valley, Yosemite, and then basically we just started driving up and made our way to San Francisco. But we spent about, I think it was like six or seven weeks. Uh, and then I had to basically come home because there was a big deal for me set in place um, with a, one of the largest clients that I have ever signed. Um, I also got my own office space, etc. cetera. But um, apart from that, like 2019 was a year where, like I said, I focused a bit more because I sort of got that out of my system. And what I have noticed over these last few years, obviously 2020 is an absolute write-off, by the way. You know, I have not been out of the house or out of the country in well, eight months now. It's August at the time of recording this. So, Lizzie, this year I have not been out of the country. Let me just double check. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. So, Lizzie, I have not been abroad this year. And we all know why, because of the uh, pandemic. But it's actually been, it's almost been refreshing to the point where I've gotten so much done. We are on track with all of our goals. I've been able to really focus on what I want to focus on, really focus on systems, automation. Obviously, you know, I've built up my coaching business. Um, everything is basically set in place. And we're, we're only eight months into the, to the year. You know, there's still four months left. Whereas if I was traveling, you know, um, throughout the year, then probably 
this is where I'll probably end up at in December. You know, so I've basically now got four more months, whereas like most of the things that I wanted to get done this year are actually done or set in stone to to get done. And in my opinion, the laptop lifestyle is something that I'm a very big fan of because, like I said, I do really truly believe in that triple freedom concept where you know you've got freedom of time, freedom of money, you know, financial freedom, and also location freedom, but there is a time and a place for it. You know, if you really want to focus on building something that can literally, uh, basically building the foundation for you to live off for years to come, then, you know, you will also need to have times where you focus and really look at where it is that you are heading, where you are going, where your business is currently at, what systems you need to put in place, but also yourself, you know, I've got this, like the, the most geekiest health tracker, you know, you'll ever see where I literally track everything from, how many steps I take, the calories that I consume, uh, my metabolism, my sleep quality, uh, what time I go to bed, what time I get up, um, how many deep work blocks I get in a day, everything is tracked to a T. And the reason why I've been able to do that is because I've literally not been out of the country in eight months. So because I've got so much time to really go into deep work and really focus on what I want to do, I can optimize certain aspects like that. And that was not possible back in 2018 and definitely was not possible on that road trip uh, through the US because there's too many variables at play, you know. You also want to explore, which is another big reason why living a lot of lifestyle, if you are traveling to different countries in a short period of time, is very difficult because, let's face it, there's a reason why you want to go abroad because you want to experience other parts of the world. You want to experience different cultures, experience different things, you know, different aspects of uh you know of, of life in general basically and you know that will always come primary to the business let's face it you're not going to go to paris and not go and see the eiffel tower because you want to or you need to get a work block in or anything like that when you go to rome you're not going to not see the Colosseum because you know you're doing outreach on you know um you know, through email outreach for example and yes you know you can combine it you know you can work from your laptop etc but let's face it how how much deep work can you get done when there's all these kinds of like tourist attractions, etc., um, out there waiting for you to, you know, for you to go and see them and explore them, it it is going to be hard. So, basically, what I'm trying to get at here is you need to find the balance between living a laptop lifestyle and also focusing on your business. And if you are perfectly happy just getting two clients, trying to automate that as much as possible, and then explore the world, then by all means do so. But if you want to, basically bring a bit more to the table and really build a solid business, then you might need to give up the laptop lifestyle as well, especially in the short term, if you wanna actually achieve you know, greatness. And I've noticed now that, like I said, yes, the laptop lifestyle is always something that I want to pursue and something that as soon as everything in terms of the pandemic, etc., is over and it's all died down, I wanna continue with as well. But my business is now at a much better place because I've spent eight months just working on the business, just setting up systems, stress testing, uh, seeing what works and what doesn't and so on and so forth. So if you are in the SMMA niche, you know, you've got your own agency and you've just got that itch basically to live that lifestyle, then by all means do so, but just take that into consideration. Then with regards to travel in general, um, what I will probably do going forward, because like I said, a different country every single month is difficult not in terms of uh not financially or anything like that but in terms of your focus you know if you are constantly in and out of planes in different time zones exploring different cities it is going to be hard to get that deep work in because like i said when you're in paris you want to see the the eiffel tower when you're in rome you want to see the Colosseum. you know when you're in turkey you know you want to see the the, the hagia sophia mosque etc so when i will start to travel again after all this is over I will probably pick out a few places and stay there for longer periods of time okay so rather than spending a week here a week there i'll probably spend a month in one location and then within the first few days do all the tourist attractions take a few days off and then from there basically base up in a certain location and get work done from there again and then obviously you know you're not going to always be at where you know, you're going to also explore the city and go for meals etc but just that, just so you've got like the, your base, you know, your, your base, your foundation set up. You know where you're gonna get deep work done. You know what times you're going to get deep work done. You basically, you know, you're getting used to the time zone, etc. You uh, have got a consistent sleep schedule, a consistent health tracking schedule, if you will. Then from there, you'll notice that you'll get much more done because of that. And you can basically not necessarily live the lifestyle, but you can go on these sort of like extended vacations 
or uh, what does Tim Ferriss call them, mini retirements, if you will, throughout the year and throughout your career as a social media marketer. And with that said, I am probably gonna wrap up this video here. Almost 15 minutes of rambling about the latter lifestyle is enough for one day. So like this video if you got some out of it. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the latter lifestyle. Are you a fan of it or not so much? Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video.